how to fix storage issues on your iPad. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from The Gini Guide. In today's video, I will simply show you how you can actually fix storage issues on your iPad. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first of all, let's say that you're running relatively out of storage on your iPad. You want to actually save some of the storage left on your device. And so for that, what we have to do is first of all, if you have any of the unused apps or games, I would recommend you to simply uninstall them. So long press on this particular icon and then select delete and then delete that particular app or any of these things like such. I'd recommend you just simply go ahead and delete any of the apps which you don't use over a certain period of time because that is simply going to help you save lots and lots of storage. And after that, there are also a couple of things which we can do. For first of all, open up settings and on the left hand side, go to general. And if you're running out of storage, so tap on iPhone st iPad storage and over here, you can see out of 32 gigabytes, 22, which means 23 gigabytes has already been used in my case. So I only have up to 10 gigabytes left on my iPad home screen. So you'll also be able to see the amount of storage of what kind of things are occupying. So what I would recommend you to do is you can see this button which says enable all unused apps. So what you have to do is tap on the enable button. What this does is that it's going to offload the unused apps over time. If you don't use a certain app, it's going to offload the app in the background and next time when you open it, you will only need to reinstall it but you will not lose any of your data. It's as simple as that. So enable this option if it's really useful for you as you can see much of the apps that are consuming lots of data over here. After that, what you could do is you could simply go ahead and then see if that fixes the issue or not. The other thing I would also recommend you do is if you have your Apple ID connected, I would recommend you to turn on iCloud backup to actually upload your photos to your iCloud and then you can delete those photos from your device's storage. So you can see photos, the backup is currently on, which means when it is backed up to your iCloud storage, which offers you five gigabytes, you can go ahead and delete those photos from your photos application right over here and that would most likely also help you solve your problem. We hope the video was really helpful. If it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If if you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.